G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, Nick has done it again. After making some horrible statements over the last couple of days about there being no stellar parallax, which of course there is, and tides just being rivers flowing into the oceans every six hours, which, okay, funny. He really got got it right this time. He's actually must have read a book. I guess today he finally saw the light and he put out a video where it was all correct. And just because there's no hard feelings, Nick, I thought I'd mirror the video so that everyone can see. Yes, gravity is an external force and it acts upon this globe. Thanks, Nick. Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. Now, the fact that we put a dense object in the medium of air and that the object has weight isn't enough for your average globe believer. Of course, we live on the outside of a spinning globe. We have to have some kind of external force to make us stick to the outside of it. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate here how uh, gravity is proven to be an external force that actually creates weight and pulls everything down towards the center of mass and of course the the globe is a sphere so the center of that mass is in the middle of that globe and that means that down is in all directions around that globe yeah so uh, with this bottle of pesto I'm going to prove that gravity gives it weight okay so this globe here is full of a very dense mass so dense that we, we just can't lift it up it's really heavy so it has all this extra mass yeah so this this mass is creating a force which when we put this this uh, pesto on the scales gives the pesto weight the only reason that this pesto jar has weight is because this globe has mass and that mass is creating this external force which is pulling the dense bottle of pesto in a jar which has a fixed volume in the medium of air down towards the center of this globe yeah and that's what gives it weight that proves that we live on a globe and that there's this external force pulling everything down and and that's what this creates this it's what makes this heavy it has nothing to do with the fact that this jar is a dense mass with a fixed volume in the medium of air it's all because this globe has this amazing massive mass yeah well there you have it so nick has just shown us how gravity works on a globe very well done thanks mate